Hi, I'm Patton Oswalt, and this is Mike O'Brien, the creator of AP Bio. And what are we about to do, Brian? Um, well, uh, Walt, uh, we are going to uh, do anatomy of a scene. We're going to watch a scene from the finale of season one of AP Bio, and then uh, give you some of the secrets behind the scenes, some of the Hollywood tricks of the trade. Oh uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna lift the curtain, and then also push the curtain aside because actually. If you lift it, you only see the bottom part. Yeah, it's way better if you actually you move it. I don't know why you would lift a curtain. It's on a horizontal runner. To, yeah, it just, makes no sense to lift it. it so just slide it. Yeah. Is everybody having fun in the uh, lost city of Zinge? <laughs> Amy Love Congo movie. So one of the things that you don't realize about Hollywood movie making is that you're not always seeing what you think you're seeing. No, we, we no. have to trick your eyes sometimes, and that's a that's like a fake wooden gorilla essentially. Yeah, rewind that. Now you wouldn't know that. Look, right. okay, right there. Yeah. Look to my left arm. See that? That is a painting. Yeah. Of a gorilla. That's, that's not, not a gorilla. Oh my God. I mean, yeah. The special effects are so eerie what they can do now. But yeah. Yeah. It, and I, how many times did I come up and I tried to yeah. sign language with him? Yeah. Like that's, that's how I, I was doing the same thing. I kept turning and screaming, oh my yes. God, a gorilla, oh, yeah. you know? And then it would turn out to be fake. They're wizards. They're wizards. What you don't know about CGI is the only stuff that CGI will actually stay formatted to on the screen is. Ham. Ham. So yeah. the set that everyone is on, all of that and the gym floor and everything is all ham. Most movies you see with CGI, they are just filming on shaped and sculpted ham. Uh, apparently the Avengers films are just nightmares to shoot. Yeah. I mean, it's worth it when you see the final yeah, product. It looks but awesome. It's three months of ham and trichinosis and flies. Th these actors are, th they're heroes. Yeah, it's they're amazing. They're heroes. The expression, we got to roll, we're starting to rot. They're talking about the ham is starting to smell. Yeah. The hot lights have been shining on it for a long time, and then the ham will rot and um, start to stink. Uh, and a lot of times when you hear them say roll them, what they're meaning is that ham's about to go bad. Let's make ham rolls for everyone, bring in fresh ham. Yeah. So roll them means we got to trade the ham out right now. Yeah, yeah get People that ham die. off the off the walls and, uh, mm -hmm. and hang some new ham. Let's talk about the dances king and queen. Oh, yes. Um, they were named Dallas is the uh, young lady, and, and the fella is named Joshua. Joshua. Now, people are like, oh, you guys just pick these random names. We spend months talking oh about this. Oh, my God. So Dallas is obviously a, a JFK thing. Uh, a lot of this episode you'll see is kind of about the conspiracy. It's sort of our answer to Oliver Stone's uh, film JFK. Right. You can go on the dark net and find out way more about that. There's a lot of uh, important mm -hmm. stuff that we're trying to, that the mainstream media will not cover, so we put it into yeah. the episodes of the show. Um, Talk a little bit about your relationship with Michael Crichton. Patton demanded that we use the Congo as the dance theme, um, and that that be what we projected onto the ham in well, post. And um, why was that? I have a bittersweet relationship with with Michael Crichton. Uh, rest in peace. Mm -hmm. um, huge man, by the way, just almost seven feet tall. Yeah. Very intimidating. But people never realized that he was tall. He was so gigantic, and um, and a gigantic talent. Yeah. Um, but sometimes. Um, a little sticky fingered. Yeah. I was at a pool slash foam party up at um, uh, Hector Elizondo's. I get to talking to uh, Michael Crichton. Yeah. He goes, Yeah, I got this idea about dinosaurs. I'm like, Dinosaur beat? That's so played out. Uh -huh. Dinosaurs are so played out. How about albino gorillas uh -huh. defending and protecting a diamond? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, he uh, just took the idea and ran with it. And of course, that is the thing that, you know, Michael Crichton is known for. When you say his name, people are like, oh, yeah, Congo. Congo, the, and, the um, albino gorillas. <clears throat> and I didn't see a penny for it. That's a bummer. Yeah. So you, that was all your idea. The, the whole diamonds. thing. And it was my, I, I swear to God, I blurted it out, fully fleshed and plotted in yeah. 30 seconds. Really? Literally down to the dialogue. David Simon took the whole thing. You do both me, sides of the dialogue when you're in this and you're just it was weird, And I nailed each, it was amazing. Yeah. It was, I got all the dialects, all the Baltimore accents. I've seen you, you do it a few times and it's going so fast. Yeah. And if you can just transcribe it all, you have some pretty good seasons of television and of course the film Congo. Well, there you have it. Woo! Um, hope you enjoyed that, uh, and uh, check out season two of AP Bio. Um, thanks for watching this. My name is Mike O'Brien. I'm Pat Oswalt, and thank you so much for enjoying Anatomy of a Scene. You're welcome. <laughs>